untraveled roads, uncharted seas. Grand designs, new ideas. No fear, no respite. Challenges that make you fight. A belief that no matter what, it will come out right. Welcome once again to India's Small Giants. Once again, we meet entrepreneurs who have proved what can be started and achieved with sheer willpower, hard work, dedication, and single-minded focus. Our next entrepreneurs trusted their instinct. Then they invested in innovation, high technology, modern machinery, put in stringent quality controls, and they have changed the face of poultry feed and breeding and brought it into the 21st century. Let's see how. Dr. Jiranjit Reddy and Dr. A. Tirupati Reddy started Rohini Minerals for supplying the feed requirements of their initial startup, Asar Hatcheries, which was breeding boilers. Both the promoters are qualified postgraduate and graduate veterinarians. When we started this uh, feed uh, production business in 2004, there were only multinational companies which were operating the feed, feed operations. When the multinationals are buying the raw materials locally, and when they can uh, cater the requirement of the poultry farmers of the Indian requirement, why not we? When we have the technical expertise, when we have the awareness of the nutrition, when we have the awareness of the requirement of the birds in India, why not we start as technocrats? That has motivated us. And initially, they have tried to push us by not really increasing the prices when the raw material prices have gone up. But uh, we are not uh, taken that seriously. We have incurred losses in the very first year, maybe, for some time. But after that, they shied away from the competition and now we are leading it. India, we have the best of the best technical knowledge about the nutrition. But the problem is the equipment, we were not aware of the equipment what was being used elsewhere. So with the exposure what we had in, in the last 7-8 years, we went to different countries, we have seen their infrastructure. So we thought why not we import that infrastructure and apply in, in Indian conditions. We took a chance, we imported all the, raw, all the infrastructure. With that what has happened is the investment has gone up but the cost of production has come down because the efficiency has gone up. They adapted to foreign standards for delivery yet were faced by infra hurdles peculiar to the poultry industry locally. Despite challenges like raw material shortages and bird flu scare, they continue to supply quality feeds and products. Initially, when in 2004-05, when we started uh, the company, we were really not uh, technically exposed to the nutrition what is there elsewhere. We hardly received any benefits from the government. We keep asking the government to help us in cutting the electricity tariff, asking them not to allow the exports and not to allow both the exports of raw materials of maize, corn and soya. Feed is an important criteria in poultry production cost. It almost costs you 70% in broilers and 55 to 65% in layers. So when we have a correct nutritionist, when we have a good equipment for making of feed, we end up in producing high quality feed. This company is known for giving a high quality layer concentrates to farmers besides layer crumbles. The glue behind their success comes from providing social security, employee welfare and imbuing staff with a sense of ownership. We have grown as a unit. I focus on that saying that all of us should grow together. Any problem of any employee should be taken care of by all of us. This company's basic foundation is trust. Trust on employees and customers. And we feel all employees here work with a lot of dedication and ownership. And management takes care of everybody and they are concerned about the employees' welfare. Most employees, when you talk to them, they, they mention that we wish to retire here and they would like to admit their children also in the group. Starting with just rupees 2 lakhs investment in 1996, today Rohini Mineral turnovers rupees 650 crores. Now, they are planning a pan India expansion augmented by forays in into Africa. There is nothing much about the secrecy in, the, in our success. As I am telling you, it is only hard work, commitment, the quality, and we never compromise on the quality, however uh, grave the situation may be. We have, uh, we have faced all ups and downs in the industry, but we have never compromised either in the chick quality or in the feed quality. The, the real uh, futuristic expansions is only in the poultry feed sales for this company. In addition to that, we have started a commercial layer operation also. We have uh, ventured and uh, we have acquired a commercial layer form of 7 lakhs capacity. So we would like to expand that 7 lakhs uh, existing commercial layers into 10 lakhs and uh, we would like to come up with a new commercial air forms in Uganda 
we are planning to explore south africa we have already took up the land we are starting a commercial layer of 3 lakhs capacity in this year in this financial year and we would like to expand to broiler breeding and uh, chicken processing also in uganda that is our success story we are really proud of the uh, team what we have both in the production marketing and the office also cheers for that our next india small giant is from maharashtra vaishnavi devi dairy products rank in the top 10 in state and in the last 3 years they've increased their market share by 30%. Let's see how they did it. The entrepreneurial spirit and a dream to achieve big inspired Mr. Nand Kishore Atal to switch cities and jobs in search of the right business opportunity. This led to the formation of Vishnu Devi Dairy Products. His focus was to work in an area where demand was strong and constantly growing. What better product than milk which is the staple of the Indian diet? When I shifted from Hyderabad to Pune in search of a job, so I landed uh, in Pune as a branch manager of a computer stationery firm. I did that job for two years and later on wanted to explore uh, uh, my own business. I came across a plant nearby Pune. I thought this would be very lucrative business. It's a daily requirement and daily consumption business. Scenario of milk industry in India is quite good. They may have been new players, but they were keen and hungry. They marketed in clever ways. and kept strict controls on quality and supply in 2003 when uh, opportunity came i i ventured into dairy business with my friend and till 2007 we did all sorts of marketing activities like trading into bulk and co-packaging of our brand at some other dairy in pune but in 2007 we thought we should uh, set up our own facility we started with the initial uh, milk processing facility of 50000 liters by taking over a sick unit near hinjewadi uh, after 3 years of operation in that plant uh, we thought of exploring the value added product market uh, in india which is quite big for that we started new unit in urli kanchan with the initial capacity to process 150000 liters of milk and to make products like ghee milk powder dairy whitener dahi paneer etc once uh, we started commercial production we got very good response for our product quality as demand increased they not only increased their milk handling capacity they also added numerous other milk product lines since the inception we were used to handle around 2 lakh liters a day and currently we are handling 3 lakh liters a day and we are adding up our capacity to another 4 lakh liters a day and very soon we will be handling 7 lakh liters a day coming to the by products range we are coming out with many products like yogurt already we have launched dahi we have production capacity of 10 tons per day for dahi and yogurt we have 6 tons capacity of paneer production we have a 21 tons capacity of ghee production we can produce uh, around 60 tons of butter per day and we are uh, our uh, recent expansion will add up with a 50 tons production per day of uh, skim milk powder stringent quality norms are followed for acceptance of milk once all the quality tests are cleared only then the milk is taken for un- unloading and uh, from there it is untouched by human the same purity and uh, quality is preserved throughout the manufacturing process equipped with modern technology at their plants they have retained quality while also addressing environmental concerns when we make milk powder lot of water is evaporated into it we collect all that uh, in the form of condensate water and we use it for our internal cleaning purpose so those are the type of innovation which we have installed in our plant so by saving energy cost as well as environment and on in terms of packaging we have got a special uh, apple shaped jar we choose to uh, have apple shaped jar, jar because apple is considered to be the healthy food for human being to avoid the duplication in the market we have come up with a innovation uh, like a five corner box uh, which uh, for this the machinery altogether is different for packaging so it is not easily available in the market uh, the machinery is not easily available in the market so duplication can be avoided to maximum extent so that our consumer get the uh, best quality which we are uh, ensuring for them for site planning dedication hard work and investing in close to 20000 farmers have been the five important cornerstones of success of vishnu devi dairy products shubhi is my passion to make it a household name across india is my dream so i'm fully working on it so so that i can fulfill my dream
and be successful in life. Vaishno Devi Dairy Products have done all the right things along the way. Strategically, they focused on quality and they made long shelf life products. That has given them reach as well as growth. Plus, they invested in their people as well as their suppliers, the farmers, and that has made them a legacy company. Do visit us on indiasmeforum.org for more information on today's episode as well as more success stories of emerging enterprises that are shaking up the SME sector in India. Sometimes things won't go fast enough. Time is running out and my life is standing still. The confusion, the decision, the not knowing, the inertia, it drives me crazy. Especially when someone asks me that stupid question. So what are you going to do with your life? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to chase the impossible dream. I'm going to run in a different direction. Swim against the tide because I want to do what hasn't been done. If you need a career compass, then we're charting the roadmap to your dreams. You wanted to know what I'm doing with my life? I'm a shooting star headed for the sun. Heads up, Monday to Friday at 6:30 p.m. on NDTV Prime. Heads up, presented by LIC Ka Husaat. To figure ki chhodo baat. Treehouse Playgroup and Nursery. Nanne kadam, badi oran. Education partner, Shiksha.com. Stop following, start exploring. And media partner, Career 360. A career is a life. small giants where each week we look at fantastic stories of indian smes creating great enterprises from minerals and dairy let's move to the it sector now app developers have been targeting everything from personal fitness to business solutions and the growth in apps is spurred by internet connectivity smartphone technology as well as social networks a to z apps have been carving out a niche for themselves in the cloud computing sector Let's take a rise into the clouds with them. While most successful softwares have come out of the USA and Silicon Valley, A to Z are challenging this thinking by creating it in India. I founded this organization 7 years back with my wife Rajni. Uh the objective of the founding this organization was to change the way software industry works. and the software is built for end users and the way software is consumed and i was very lucky to work in silicon valley and seeing you know the google is uh, growing and the other startups and then i was lucky to be recruited by salesforce.com which was a startup uh, then in back in 2002 and i was thinking about you know that this is the model might be is very lucrative for the people for the SME small and mid size organizations in India and the developing countries inspired by Sun Microsystems CEO Scott McNally Kantanu decided to invest back in India misunderstanding of the concept the awareness was not there so that was the low of the industry but then again you can say that is the high of the industry from our perspective in the sense that the, there's a huge opportunity ahead of us we came back uh, myself and rajneet we hired bunch of guys you know uh, some from kerala some from jaipur so different cities and we put together a team and and that's how it got started you know and then it took almost one and half years or you can say two years to come up with the initial product of of the whole stack that we have today it is the apps is a cloud operating system that seeded with apps that you can use anywhere any place and across any devices it is the apps is one of the hottest startups in the cloud computing space with offices across bombay calcutta and palo alto in california we offer the world's first cloud based os seeded with apps which is both for business and consumer we have a full feature social network which again works with enterprises and for the consumers we have a online app builder where you can build applications without knowing ever knowing how to code so you can develop applications without knowing any coding if you look at the way we deliver and the way we earn revenue over a period of time it is very crystal clear that we are making our customers king 
that means we are not asking them to sign for big contracts for three years or four years contract we prefer to take the money or the subscription fee on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis so, so our business model itself you know uh, enables customers to be at the center of our business we have a mixed blend of seniors and juniors seniors mainly are the best brains in the industry while juniors are mainly freshers who, are, who have fire in their belly and are most inquisitive about the latest technology. All in all, they make a great combination required for a product company. A2Z Apps is proud to be 100% made in India, investing in our talent to build our IP. Our primary focus is SME. So we have to make sure that we work closely with fast 100,000 SME customers you know, to make them happy. So that you know, they become our brand ambassador rather than sales people are going and selling our product. All of us as the team is pretty focused on really increasing the core mind share of India and South Asia right now. After that, in the medium term, is when we're going to focus the US and the third tier is Europe. That's how we want to plan our marketing stages. Constant improvements and local success have encouraged A to Z apps to take this India-made software to the world. We want to make a 50 million annual revenue in the next two to three years. So that means we are talking about monthly recurring revenue of three to four million dollars. And that is our. And we want to reach out to 10 million users. And most of them, the business users, most of them are paid. We are coming up with a different plan. We are launching a free plan for SMEs and all. They can go sign up through our website and they can uh, cherry pick any of the applications they want to use. And we, we have been thinking that might be we'll be giving you know, 50 logins or 25 logins free for next six months or one year. We need people to see the wonder that is around them and experience it. Once they do it, we are pretty certain that this, that conversion of thought process, the adoption of the new will happen. With app development companies growing rapidly and successful ones selling for millions, sometimes billions of dollars, A to Z apps have bet on a winner by going into the cloud computing service. With India's middle classes and affluent population growing rapidly, there have been opportunities for businesses that are aligned to this market explosion. The Adonis Group is one such lifestyle distributor that has risen to and with the challenge. With significant strength in the distribution and retailing of apparel and lifestyle products today, Hitesh Shah started his journey by joining the family business after college. When we started in 2010, the company was more like a family-run business, owner-driven business. But as we expanded, we understood that you know the traditional approach of uh, hands-on on the business will not work out. We need to bring more people, more systems, more uh, processes to take this business forward. In 2010, when we formed this new company, we were in a confused state of mind, uh, what name uh, we would like to give to this company. But at the back of the mind, we had a very clear thinking saying we would like to get this company connected from the place where we have come, which is Adoni. And Adoni justifies uh, name in a two way. One is our own lifestyle business. Adoni is the name of a handsome Greek god. And at the same time, Adoni represents the town where we have come from. Also, if you see the logo, which clearly signifies an arrow towards upper side position, which means clearly a growth, growth in everything, growth in business, growth in happiness, growth in employee satisfaction growth in customer service, this is how we have defined the logo. Puttur was the first store uh, which we opened and uh, it was definitely not up to our expectations. So we learned whatever we could from Puttur, we implemented all those things in our future project. It was a tough call to go to these towns where the population is less than one lakh and you know do a branded retail. But uh, glad that we took this decision, we expanded with five stores and we waited for six months for the results to come and the results were okay, not very great. We still kept hope and uh, took it forward and grab another five stores in these towns. And today we have 13 retail stores uh, in tier two, tier three towns. Our focus is primarily in tier two, tier three towns uh, in the rural market, purely because consumer don't have choices and uh, I believe that these are virgin markets. So we have a huge untapped potential in this town. And we have also explored towns with less than 25,000 populations for retail and we are very, very successful there. Success is a continuous process where we need to evolve every day. And here I challenge myself and my team at every level 
towards achieving excellence. So from a 15 crore company, today we are a 50 crore company. From an employee stand of 22, we are at 112. From one store to we are more than 13 stores and ability to book more than 150,000 pieces for a brand in a single season. Uh, I feel these are the major milestones uh, which we have crossed and many more to cross. If you see in our business, we have grown with the same brands more than adding new brands to our portfolio. When I was young, I used to see the lives of Ratan Tata and Kumar Bangla Birla and I used to wonder saying how they can handle so many multiple businesses. And I used to dream saying one day I should also have various multiple businesses in different, different industries. So they are huge inspiration for my own business. Adonis have diversified from clothing to electronics and now pharma. As a part of their CSR initiative, they run free clinics for the needy. Where possible, the Adonis group takes locals as staff, then supports and grooms them for success. Our father had a trust for 35 years. We have a hospital in the morning, where the doctors मुफ्त में दवाई इलाज करते हैं ओपीडी चैप चलाते हैं जो लोग दवाई के लिए पैसा न खर्च कर सकते हो उनके हिसाब से हमने ये ट्रस्ट चालू किया है और उसमें मुफ्त में दवाई देते हैं सो 60 70 80 परसेंट लोग उसका फायदा उठा रहे हैं वी हैव एम्प्लॉयज हु ज्वाइन विद अस एज एन ऑफिस बॉय एंड टुडे दे आर सक्सेसफुली मैनेजिंग अ स्टोर आवर यूएसपी इज क्वालिटी सर्विस टू आवर कस्टमर्स बी इट इन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इट्स अ बीटूबी कस्टमर or in retail where it's the end consumer. Future, as I said, we would like to be a 100 crore company in the next three years. At the same time, we would like to associate with more international brands for their lifestyle and distribution purpose and expand rapidly into retail in more rural markets. My advice to new budding entrepreneurs will be there is no alternative to working hard. There is no shortcut to success. Be innovative. Challenge yourself every day. Listen to your team and get into details. What an inspiration for up-and-coming entrepreneurs to emulate this company and other emerging enterprises featuring on India Small Giants. Tune in again next week to hear more stories from successful business people in their own words. Find out how they made it on India Small Giants. Only on NDTV Prime, Saturday 12.30 p.m. and Sunday 6.30 p.m. And for more information on how you too could be the next India Small Giant, log on to indiasmeforum.org. And India Small Giants reminds you, stay on the course to success.